you just introduce yourself first, please? Hello, my name's June Whiteman, and I am the Isle of Man chapter leader of the South African Chamber of Commerce UK. Lovely. Well, let's just explain a little bit more about that, because people might not be aware of this chapter. Tell us a bit more about the chapter then, how it came about. Right. A um, couple of years ago, uh, John Hunter, who was then Isle of Man Finance, met up with our chairman, um, Sharon Constanson, in London, just prior to them going to South Africa on one of their road shows. And um, John was persuaded that the South African chapter, Chamber of Commerce rather, would be um, a good networking opportunity to introduce South Africans here on the Isle of Man to South Africans in London, South African businessmen in London, and then the wider picture, of course, would be to benefit businesses in South Africa. So thanks to John, the Isle of Man, Isle of Man Finance, Isle of Man Government, became the first platinum members of the Chamber of Commerce in the Isle of Man. And as a result of that, we realized the importance of starting a chapter here. So I was appointed chapter leader, and my effort now is to get as many South African businesses or businesses with South African connections to join the chamber, the South African Chamber of Commerce UK, in order to benefit them and businesses in South Africa and just to grow the network in, with, throughout the UK. because. The regions are growing. We've got um, a region now, East of England region. We've recently launched Ireland, both Northern and Southern Ireland, so we call that the Emerald Isle chapter. And two weeks ago, we launched in South Africa, Chamber of Commerce uh, chapter in KZN, KwaZulu-Natal. Mm -hmm. And the, the idea is to start more throughout South Africa so that all of the regions will be connected to the Chamber of Commerce London, and ultimately all the regions will be interconnected. And what do you think the potential is long term for growth? Oh, huge. Um, I think we can, purely by looking at the, the population on the Isle of Man, we can see how valuable the South African community is. And we would just like to make the, the, give them the opportunity to connect to South Africans throughout the UK and back to South Africa as well. Do you see this as a, a two-way process, benefiting both the, the Isle of Man and South Africa? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think the idea that the Isle of Man go out to the Isle of Man government go out to South Africa as often as they can. COVID, of course, has put a huge spanner yes, in the works. Indeed. But um, the fact that they do go out to South Africa, they realize that there is huge potential out there. And South African businesses are desperate to connect with the UK and with the UK regions. So, yes, there's huge potential. Have we any idea what sort of size of, of the sort of community we've got on the island now? Because I know I've spoken to a few people. It seems very difficult to pin that figure down, doesn't it? Howard, I wish I knew. We've been here 20 years. Um, over those years, we've been told 10%, but um, I don't know. There seem to be an awful lot of South Africans here. <laughs> and I'm surprised that we're not brying on a regular basis every weekend. In fact, there probably are in pockets all around the Isle of Man. Yesterday was Heritage Day, um, which is, I think, the reason behind this event today. Absolutely. And um, so there have been a prize going on all over the place. Um, so, yeah, it's just lovely to be here too. Thank you. Speaking of Friday, there's food just coming up. Just finally, are you surprised something like this hasn't actually happened earlier in many ways? Um, I, I guess because South Africans are so good at communicating and the, the South African community is, is so interconnected anyway, they probably haven't really felt the, re the need for it. But um, I'm really hoping that this Isle of Man chapter of the Chamber of Commerce can be instrumental in bringing South African business owners together on a regular basis. And um, I'd love as many people as possible to become members so that we can actually all communicate and, and benefit each other. Great talking to you. There's some lovely food here today as well. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Howard.